everyone. I want to do a video to show you a few bags. One of the bags that I purchased came from a consignment shop, but I think what I'll start with is the one I'm actually using. It is a backpack and it's supposed to have a vintage look. I don't know, like an aviator bag. I know it kind of reminds me of those old bomber jackets. This bag I purchased from Sheen or Shine. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I've never purchased anything from there before. This is my very first purchase and it went really smoothly. And I like the bag a lot. It's a little bit heavy with my stuff in it, even though it is faux leather, but I really like the look of it. It has this little, I guess that's supposed to be an eagle right here. And then there are several, several pockets. It has this little latch right here, which is also really cute. You just have to hold it to get it out. And then there is also a snap tab right here. You can undo that, of course. And then it drawstrings. Um, I guess you could leave the drawstring undone and just do the little snap and then the buckle if you'd like to do that. There is a zip pocket right here on the front that is the whole size. There are two little open pockets, one here, one here. And then there are zip pockets on each end. One holds my keys, one holds my hand sanitizer. Then on the back of the bag, these adjust of course, and it has this handle. And then there is a really big zip pocket right here. That's where I keep my phone. When I received the bag, the drawstring was down in the bag, so you just have to string this yourself. And then of course, these are undone, so you just adjust them to the size that you want. The inside of the bag is black. It has one zip wall pocket here, and then two open pockets on this side, which you'll never see since it is so dark. There's my stuff way down in there. But I really like the look of this bag. I like how it has this pebbled look and it kind of does look vintage. That's what you type in if you want to see this bag is vintage backpack. The other bag I want to show, I found at this little shop, it's not really a consignment shop. Um, she has like some stuff that is, uh, <clears throat> I thought I had scissors in here. Um, as seen on TV, she has some of that stuff. And she does have like um, clothes that have been worn. Um, just a mix. There's vintage things there. I'm not sure what kind of shop it is. But she has Montana West bags. And I'm a fan of Montana West. This one's really pretty. Um, I thought it was a cute crossbody and it's big enough to hold a lot. It has feet on the bottom. Once again, it's one of the concealed carry bags. I do not own a gun, but I do stick my phone in that pocket or in this one. If I do, I'll put my keys in that one. And I just thought it was really pretty where it is dark brown and then it has the light pale pink um, in the background and then all of the studs that's on this bag. The regular studs and rhinestones. So I thought that was really pretty. The inside of the bag, most Montana West are the same. This one, just like with my bigger ones that I did a video on not long ago, there are two open sides, then a middle zip section, and then two open pockets on this wall, and then a zip pocket on that wall. And it does say Montana West. This is how the lining looks. And this is the crossbody. I thought it was really cute. I do like a Western vibe purse. <laughs> this next bag I found at a consignment shop and I think I paid six or seven dollars. Not very much. It is by Sack and I love camo purses and I thought this one was really cute. It's like a cargo style purse and it has little embroidered flowers. Um, you know how, um, not embroidered, they're crocheted. You know how sack is crochet, and here's their little flowers on there, and there's only one on this pocket, two on this pocket, and there, there's little stud and grommet detail, little buckles, and the buckles are just for look because it does have a magnetic snap. 
So it's a perfect place for my gum in one pocket, my keys in one. Here is a back zip pocket where I can put my phone. Here is another pocket here on the front. I could stick my sunglasses in there. This is the inside. There are um, credit card slots and an open pocket on this wall, a zip wall pocket here. And just by looking in this purse, it's really clean. There's no stains. There is a little bit of crumbs. I'm just gonna throw it in my washer, of course. Then the top strap, I always like to see this on a purse, this little extra material that's wide, just to make it extra comfy. But I thought this was a really cute bag. I've seen them online and I considered buying one. But of course, anytime I buy something online, people are always asking quite a bit more. So I do better going to my local Goodwill or my local consignment shops. This one is a higher end consignment shop. They have all the brand bags like Coach, Dooney, um, Brahmin, Michael Kors. So I mean, she said, has some that's better bags. And then she has like Sack. I like Sack. It's good quality. Um, but she just has all kinds. And there's two, I think, in my area. Or, well, there's a Play-Dohs. They have good bags too. So I'd say three that's near me that I really like to go to. Um, so here is my sack camo bag, my Montana West little Western crossbody, and my backpack. That is a vintage style backpack. So I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.